Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Tuesday's trading, the 7th of June 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the uh, app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, folks, interesting uh, scenario, interesting day, um, post Yellen. Okay, uh, the majority view with regards to Yellen really is summed up in this article uh, you can re read in the uh, telegraph the federal Reserve is still, fed is still on track to raise u.s rates this year the central bank's chair hinted on monday despite disappointing recent data now she downplayed the data stating that it was a one-off isolated case and and that we shouldn't jump to any conclusions although she did say things to the contrary as well now janet, said, janet yellen said that positive economic forces have outweighed the negative signaling that the Fed would have to increase rates before the year was out. She said that she expected the economic expansion to continue with the labour market improving further and GDP growing moderately. She did admit that the monthly US jobs report published on Friday had been disappointing. May's hiring figures, etc. far weaker, blah, 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 blah. Central bank watchers suggested that the data were bad enough to, enough to kill any hopes of interest rate rises from the Fed this summer. Financial central bank watchers, well, watchers, not the actual bank itself. Remember, financial market pricing implies that there's no chance of a hike this month. Yet, Miss Yellen emphasised that one, it should never attach too much significance to any single data point. Okay, so she certainly attempted to downplay the um, the fact that um, the one-off isolated, um, obviously, uh, jobs report that printed 38,000 as opposed to uh, almost 100 odd. Uh, thousand so again it's a, a cause of concern okay it certainly is a cause of concern i think individuals and investors certainly have been carried away with this uh, thought process or philosophy that uh, interest rates will not rise this year and therefore they want to pile in and buy equities interesting scenario also oil has certainly uh, ignored the opec failure as well and certainly is attempting to move higher so interesting scenario with regards to equities certainly a vertical move higher Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here. In terms of fundamentals, the Asian markets overnight were more or less flat. The Shanghai flat, the Nikkei up 0.5%. So, um, although uh, we had the ASX more or less flat as well. So, no real sense of direction there. Again, uh, Brexit concerns dominate. Remember that, folks. Brexit concerns dominate. We've had a, a terrorist incident in Turkey as well. That certainly is a risk off trade, a uh, potential risk off trade. So, again... Uh, certainly focus on that as well. Bear with me one second whilst I just make some adjustments here in terms of the levels of recording. Here we go. That's good. Okay. So certainly a risk off event there. Uh, and in terms of fundamentals this morning, economic data out of the EU zone. Let's just quickly observe here. Uh, we've had um, German industrial production slightly better than forecast. Uh, I mean, after the recent data has all been weak. Okay, uh, the current account um, situation in France certainly weaker than expected. Trade balance actually came in weaker. Exports slightly beat uh, or more or less in line. Imports more or less in line as well, but the um, current account certainly weaker than expected. Industrial output in Spain certainly stronger. Ha ha strong house prices in the UK. And now we're waiting for the GDP number in the next 10 minutes or so with regards to uh, European markets. Uh, we have non-farm productivity unit labor costs, Red Book Index, uh, economic optimism, so and consumer credit change as well in the US. So that should give us more insight as to the direction of the US dollar. Now talking about the dollar at the moment, let's just bring up the chart of the dollar and see the actual uh, butchery and debauchery that's uh, ongoing at present. Now, the, the US dollar on the four hour chart, you can see that we are coming into support. The daily chart certainly is coming into support. The 60 minute chart has bottoming tails and is attempting to put in uh, support as well. So, looking for potential support here on the, um, on the US dollar as well. Okay. Now, looking at the euro trade as well, uh, the euro trade at present on the daily chart, you are still holding resistance in this zone at 1.1365. So, certainly watch out for that key resistance zone. Okay. Uh, now, given the fact that the euro is certainly at such a lofty heights, that certainly exerts pressure on European indices and looking for weakness in European indices as well. So therefore, looking for a potential move lower in European indices. So watch out for European indices. Now, let's have a look at the actual technical picture. Now, the euro stocks, I expected that, well, I'm certainly short the euro stocks and I'm expecting a move lower on the euro stocks uh, from 3039. I'm short 
Uh, uh, obviously, you get into that Fib 75% resistance. If we do more, if we move higher at 3050, we have a lot of resistance as well. Certainly looking to potentially move lower. Now, we have left an unfilled gap behind as well, so bear that in mind. You have an unfilled gap below at 3,000 3, and looking to retest at the breakout level at 3,010. So those are the two zones that I will be looking at on the back of a stronger euro, looking for weaker European equities. And that in itself should certainly keep the US markets at bay as well to a large extent. Uh, let's just bring up a chart of the German DAX. German DAX, you can see here in the 10-minute chart, certainly overextended now, looking to potentially uh, go back and uh, close that gap below. Bear that in mind, a stronger euro is actually bearish for the markets. So again, watch out for that uh, key resistance zone. We are now approaching resistance. This is a key level that we're coming into at the moment on the German DAX. 60-minute chart of the German DAX. Certainly have broken out that uh, falling uh, diagonal trend, trend line and again into horizontal resistance. So this zone here is a very important zone with unfilled gap below. So watch out for the unfilled gap on the German DAX on the back of a stronger euro. In terms of the French CAC, uh, again, I remain short the French CAC looking for potential move lower on the daily chart and also on the 60 minute chart as well given the unfilled gap below so again diagonal trend line certainly has been ignored for now i did expect that to hold if we do continue to move higher then you are looking at resistance at the uh, 4490 level my stop remains at 4496 and the french cac still expecting a move lower 10 minute chart certainly has an unfilled gap behind so again watch out for that unfilled gap to be potentially filled so you have the unfilled gap at the 4425 zone. That's the level that I'll potentially be targeting on the uh, the downside. Okay, but yes, certainly an impressive move on the French CAC, even with uh, a stronger euro. The equity markets certainly are baffling at present. It certainly seems that uh, regardless of what the bad news is, regardless of how bearish fundamentals are, equities certainly seem to move higher on the expectation of more Kool Aid. Very strange, even with Miss Yellen stating that September was certainly on the table. Yet equities still continue to move higher. Very strange. Okay, so certainly on the daily chart of the FTSE 100, we are now into that key resistance zone, the FTSE at 6320. So bear that in mind. You're into that FIB 75% resistance. If this H&S formation is to play out, then that is the key resistance zone for the FTSE 100. So certainly uh, observe that uh, resistance, or key important resistance zone. 60 minute chart the FTSE you can see that we are now into resistance we are now into that crucial dual top triple top resistance at 6320 on the FTSE 100 and again bear that in mind Brexit concerns remain okay certainly haven't vanished they remain okay FTSE itself again impressive thrust higher with Brexit very impressive but Again, we will uh, keep continue to observe, and uh, I'm still expecting a potential move lower on the FTSE. If we do move lower, then you are looking at 6280 as potential support uh, uh, for the FTSE 100. Okay, understand. Okay, so certainly covered in the indices uh, from uh, from the technical perspective. Let's just quickly look at oil. Uh, now, oil still remains into that key resistance zone. We still haven't pierced through the $50 region, even with the weaker oil price. So, therefore, I am looking for a uh, potential uh, continued uh, move lower on oil because there's nothing that uh, really is supporting from a fundamental perspective in terms of strong economic growth for a, the demand for oil to increase. So, again, certainly um, looking for a weaker oil price, and therefore, there I am bearish the FTSE 100. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com, specialist in spread betting and CFD brokerage, and earn up to that, uh, earn up to the 25% potential cash bonus. Goodbye now.